What's going on YouTube? Mike Go back, and today I'm going to share a package I got in from Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards. I've done breaks with them for a while, and we also just did a group PSA submission. So the PSA submission came back, sent them my way. I'm going to share those with you. That'll be the bulk of this video. Uh, as far as the group break stuff, I don't have anything too overly exciting to share with you. So most of that is a lot of base and stuff I have to go through for potential TTMs and some inserts and small stuff like that. The best card I pulled in uh, those breaks was this Teddy Bridgewater Panini Classics Auto. This is numbered to 15. So that's pretty awesome. Definitely a scarce card, a really nice card. But unfortunately, I'm sure you guys are well aware of the Teddy Bridgewater situation. Uh, kind of a really rough story. Suffered a gruesome injury um, before last season and is expected to miss this season as well. I mean, his future's kind of up in the air. Um, it, it truly is a question as to whether he'll ever play again. And if he does play again, will he be effective at all? Um, so it's it's disappointing. So in that vein, this card loses some of its luster. But, uh, you know, he had a few okay years there in Minnesota, and it's definitely a nice card. So cool pool. Definitely prefer that as opposed to someone who never did anything in the NFL or never even suited up. That's for sure. So on to the graded cards. I want to thank Mike for getting these graded for me. Definitely appreciate that. The first one I have here is Sung Hwan Oh. Closer for the St. Louis Cardinals. Uh, this 2016 Topps Chrome Prism Refractor got a PSA 9. Certainly would have liked to have had a 10, but uh, you got to settle for a 9 sometimes. For the modern stuff, I really only accept 9s and 10s. Uh, anything 8 and below, forget it. Uh, just my personal opinion. Obviously, vintage is a different story, but this prism refractor looks outstanding. So we'll see how O performs this year. Uh, you know, closers can be year to year; they can be iffy. But uh, he's with the Cardinals, so he's with a really good franchise, a team that's you can never really count out. Um, they're always a threat to uh, make a run towards the playoffs. So uh, definitely a very nice card. We're going to kind of uh, start with the rough ones, and then it just kind of gets better as we go. Next up here is a PSA 9 2016 Topps Chrome Trevor Story. Story had that amazing start to his career last year, just exploded onto the scene. That first week was like Babe Ruth-like. I mean, he was unbelievable, homering a few times every day, it seemed. Um, slowed down as the year went on, injuries caught up to him, missed late in the year. So we'll see what the future holds for him. You know, is he for real? Will he keep it up? This is definitely a nice card, though, either way. Um, and we'll see. I mean, Rocky stuff doesn't seem to hold tremendous value in the hobby for whatever reason, um, whether it's just less Rockies collectors out there overall or if it's just a thought that some of these players aren't as good as their numbers may indicate from time to time due to the thin air. Um, I'm not sure exactly what to attribute it to, but this is definitely a cool card for the collection, so a Mint 9. Next up is the biggest disappointment and the worst card that I have received back. It's one of the Tops Now cards, and I'm a big fan of Tops Now. Um, love the product. Just, just definitely cool to be able to get uh, cards that you know represent m moments and cards that you wouldn't usually get. So this is the Mickey Moniak first overall MLB draft pick uh, signing his first contract. And it is a terrible looking card in my opinion. Definitely not a fan of that. Would have preferred him holding up the jersey or putting on the hat or something like that after signing the contract. Um, it's just the goofy look. You got that person in the background like playing on their cell phone or whatever. And you kind of just see the top of his head. Goofy card. But as a Phillies fan, it was still a must buy. Um, especially if he can... Uh, you know, eventually reach the big leagues and be what some people think he can be. Unfortunately, though, this is a near mint to mint eight. So that's definitely a disappointment. Um, I haven't looked the card over yet, so I don't know what uh, bumped it down a little bit. But, hey, what are you going to do? You can't win everything, right? That's one I'll probably uh, just sell off and try and recoup the money I, cost, I paid to get it slabbed if I can. This one I'm very happy with, though. Gem Mint 10, so really happy to add that to the PC. Mickey Moniak. Some of his nicer cards are the Bowman uh, draft picks cards from this year and Bowman's best. He's in those. Would love to uh, 
gather a few of those up that are really nice. Maybe add a 10 of one of those to the collection. That'd be cool. But, you know, this guy's like 18, so we'll see how fast he can uh, find his way to the big leagues. You never know with some of these guys. They can be here at age 20, and some of them, it takes them 22, 24, and beyond. So we'll see. All right, I got a pile of this next one, and some people will like it, some people will love it. I don't really care. I consider this um, something that I can use to recoup um, money into the hobby because, you know, I love purchasing stuff, but you can't just buy, buy, buy. Sometimes you have to make a few bucks on some things to uh, to supplement the hobby, especially if you're maybe in a tough situation job-wise and stuff like that. But uh, sent in five Donald Trump Tops Now cards. Uh, this is him winning the 2016 presidential election. Came out that next day. Uh, definitely a shocking upset. Not something that most people predicted, obviously. But that's kind of what 2016 was, wasn't it? You had the Cubs down 3-1. They came back and won the World Series when many thought they might be dead. The Cavaliers, same thing, same story. The Patriots, I know it was no upset that they won the Super Bowl, but when you're down 28-3 to with about 17 minutes left in the game, that's a surprise. And uh, a lot of the data and the reports uh, said this wasn't going to happen either, and it did, so it's a bit of a historical card. I don't really collect most of the history stuff, but uh, I, you know, because I was doing the Tops Now baseball stuff, I'd noticed all this election stuff going up, and... Uh, I've got some more stuff going out uh, later. They've made Obama stuff. They made Trump stuff. They made all kinds of interesting stuff. Some of the Obama stuff's cool with the uh, the Cubs and stuff. But here we go. Donald Trump, Gem Mint 10, 1. Gem Mint 10, 2. Gem Mint 10, 3. Gem Mint 10, 4. Gem Mint 10, 5. So crush those ones um i did order like a decent amount of these and i went through them and obviously i picked out the best ones and uh did well with those so that is uh those are grades you got to be pleased with the next one is one of my favorite cards of 2016 um i was at the game it was awesome some people don't like this guy some people love him philadelphia phillies fans love this guy dodgers fans have learned to love him Mets fans, not so much, and some other people, but Mr. Chase Utley, this card is freaking awesome, and if you are a Phillies fan, this is this is a must-have for your collection. Absolutely amazing. Chase Utley smacks two home runs in first return to Philadelphia, and the back of the card features Howard and Utley right there at first base. That is just freaking awesome. Again, if you're a Phillies fan, I mean... You know, those two were part of one of the greatest eras, if not the greatest era, in Phillies baseball. There's a debate between the late 70s, early 80s, and then the 07 through 2011 teams. But uh, that 08 World Series will stick with me forever. Anyway, needed a PSA 10 for my collection with this. And so I sent out three of them to hope that I would get one for sure. And I went one for one, two for two. And three for three. So I hit all three Gem Mint 10s there. So that is freaking awesome. Again, the Tops Now cards, most of the time, they come in pretty good shape. I mean, I've had some that uh, come with ding corners. But Tops Now I did well with. Uh, the Panini Instant is another story. But I'll save that potentially for another video. But very cool uh, card for the collection. And again, did really well on those. Cannot complain. So as you can see, uh, this order I did really well on. Is the last few cards here. 2016 Tops Chrome Kyle Schwarber, Gem Mint 10. Very cool. Awesome rookie card. Again, came back last season after a nearly fully missed season. Got injured so early, but was able to return for the World Series and help the Cubs um, with that historical comeback and that World Championship. So we'll see what his future holds. Um, he is kind of an American League player in the National League. He's obviously not going to be able to catch. He's not great defensively. He can certainly hit the ball. So we'll see. But at the bottom line is he'll always be remembered as a Cubs world champion. So that's for sure. And, uh, you know, we'll see uh, how things evolve. But a Gem Mint 10 is outstanding there. 
This next card is another uh, awesome card from 2017. It's Mike Trout's 2016 Topps Chrome. And this is the refractor, which you can see some of that color shine there. Uh, it's kind of hard with the lighting I've set up and the reflection. But beautiful looking card. Uh, love this card when it came out in base tops. The chrome version and the refractor even nicer. This also got a gem mint 10. So uh, absolutely uh, outstanding looking card for the collection. Uh, obviously Mike Trout is one of the... Uh, one of the more popular players in baseball, and for good reason. He is uh, potentially, possibly, uh, the best in baseball. Obviously a great fielder, hitter, and everything like that. So that is freaking awesome. Um, be interesting to see what happens with him in the future. Will he potentially be a lifelong angel? No one seems to think so. But, you know, we'll see. In one way, it would be great to see him get more national attention and be in the postseason. But it's also nice to see guys stick with the team they come up with sometimes. All right, next up, we have a 2016 Topps Chrome Trey Turner rookie, Gem Mint 10. This guy has uh, definitely been moving up in terms of the hobby. Uh, his stuff's been going up quite a bit. People are recognizing that he's a really good player, and this is a really nice rookie card of him. Uh, 2016 Topps and Topps Chrome, really love that design. Awesome, uh, awesome looking cards. 2017, it's grown on me, but it's not nearly as nice. And uh, this Gem 10 is an awesome one for the collection as well. Rookie of the Year, Mr. Corey Seager, excellent player, very happy to add this, uh, 2016 Topps Chrome Rookie, also getting a Gem 10, so uh, that's definitely awesome, would love to maybe add a refractor, or some of the colored refractors of him as well, I think the blue uh, one's my favorite, because it just matches with that Dodger blue so well, but uh, beautiful looking card, and thrilled of course to get the Gem 10. And the final one is awesome. I think this one came actually from another YouTuber in a care package. Like they sent me like a retail three pack of Topps Chrome um, from la uh, last year. And I pulled this pink refractor Future Stars, Chris Bryant. Really nice. And that came back a Gem Mint 10, 2016 Topps Chrome vertical pink refractor, Chris Bryant. I don't think the pinks are numbered. They are not. But uh, definitely really cool. They might even be hobby exclusives. I I don't remember offhand, but uh, got a gem 10 on that too. So that is awesome. So guys, obviously I did really well. Adding a Chris Bryant 10 to the collection. Seager, along with some of the other stellar rookies like uh, Trey Turner, the Trout Refractor, um, and then some awesome stuff for the PC as well. Uh, certainly was an amazing... PSA day, no complaints here. Got one eight, a few nines, and the rest I balled out on gem tens. So comment below, let me know what you think of this PSA order from Mike. Make sure you check out Eastern Connecticut Sports Cards and Eastern Connecticut Group Breaks. Great dude. Uh, so let me know. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great one.